So I just wanted to update you about my SunSafe solar safety light. Uh, I haven't changed the name yet. Uh, I probably should do. Anyway, this is a quick prototype I knocked up. I really shouldn't have done this yet um, because I haven't finalized the hardware. I'm still looking for a diode that has a lower voltage drop. So this one's currently at uh, almost a volt, at about 20 milliamps. So that's a bit too much of a forward voltage drop. So it's currently sat in this waterproof case. Now I'd like to do something with some 3D printing and maybe print out a waterproof case of some kind that you glue the solar panel onto and that creates the waterproof seal or something. Um, but this will do at the moment. Certainly worth um, the quid to, to make the concept really. So this is the, the circuit we're looking at now. So you can see we've got our solar panel here and that's going into the batteries via a diode. That's the one I need to replace. Um, currently I'm using uh, just sort of a, a signal diode and it's, uh, it drops almost a volt at 20 milliamps and I need something a bit smaller. So maybe a, a power shock diode or uh, perhaps a reverse P-channel MOSFET or something like that. Um, but it's also going into the base of our transistor, which is there, which is a 2N39A6 PNP transistor. And this one's a good one because it's, um, it's the, the base saturates at around 0 0.7 volts. So it will keep the, uh, the, the circuit closed for quite a long time even when it's getting, starting to get dark. I don't want it to, uh, to come on too early. Uh, and you'll see that that transistor controls the power from the battery going into the LEDs there. So we've, I've just lined them all up. They're going through a single resistor, a 460 ohm resistor. So the, the 2N3906 is one of these, uh, it's a normally open transistor. Does that sound right? It doesn't sound right. Well, whatever the case is, it's basically when, when the, uh, the base isn't saturated, uh, current and voltage can flow from the collector to the emitter. So that, uh, that circuit will light up the LEDs. So we've got a, a darkness detector essentially. Now the current draw is about 600 microamps to around 500 microamps. So 0 0.6 milliamps to 0 0.5 milliamps. And it will work down to about 2.4 volts, but it will be very dim at that point. Uh, in our scenario, the lower the voltage, the lower the current draw. You can see this from the graph that's on the screen now, where the batteries start off at 2.752 volts and we're drawing 599 microamps. And then at 2.713, we're drawing 589 microamps. And this will continue to fall to around 500 microamps at 2.4 volts. So this means that we can trickle charge our batteries and still maintain the battery's charge um, because we're only using half a milliamp. The solar panel is kicking out 1.5 to 2 milliamps in cloudy weather and around 21 in peak sunshine. Uh, this should be more than sufficient and well within the safe trickle charge limits for rechargeable AA batteries, certainly of this capacity. So what's next? Well, uh, I'd really like a nicer package. So I'm going to look into having something 3D printed, uh, maybe something that could have a like an armband attached to it or a strap through the back in a similar way to the way this has this uh, this strap hole here. Um, but I'm not going to jump on that just yet. I want to make sure the circuit is finalized and I'm going to do a bit of testing and see how long more testing. I know. Uh, see how long it actually lasts for and we'll take some pictures at night and, and figure out how bright it is. And I'll, uh, I'll see if one of my friends will, will wear it when he goes on his walks or something. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And as ever, if you've got any comments, please leave them below or email me, whatever you want to do, tweet me, all of that kind of stuff. I'd really, I'd really appreciate hearing from you. Thanks.